What's up guys? I'm gonna teach you how to do a brick pour today. So, this is our stuff. Let me walk you around. So this is the box. I pressured washed it today. Set all the strings. We got strings coming out here to cut the bricks uh, when they're halfway drying. And we got our concrete. You need Portland cement. You need water and a big mixing barrel. You need the mixer <clears throat> and that white PVC coming off of it goes to the little dragon which is connected to the air pump and our water and soap mixture and that's where we get the foam to inject into the concrete to then pour into the box which we then let cook or bake or set and then we get bricks so i'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this for you and show you the process so stick around and enjoy Well, that's it. The, uh, the mix is under the tarp and I have to wait about eight hours for it to halfway cure. Then I can pull those strings out. And then uh, the next day around this time, they should be set enough to go ahead and pull out. So that's how you do a brick pour, my friends. Pretty messy job. I should probably honestly be wearing a face mask, goggles, long sleeves. But, uh, you know, I like the old pirate look. Anyways, guys, there you go. I love you. I'll let you know what these look like whenever they uh, set up. Hey, everybody. It is about six and a half hours in. No, I'm sorry. Five and a half, which is a little sooner than I wanted to pull a string. But uh, in the expanse of daylight, I'm going to have to go ahead and pull them now. So like stiff, which is what we want. Pick it off. Gonna check it. Yeah, we got some good stiffness. Should be fine. All right, so what I do now, they gotta pull out the rods that hold the strings in place on the bottom. We're going to try to make some really nice ones to finish it up. All right, so I have a string. Now the challenge is pull the string in very straight fashion, secure a cut line all the way down. You get close enough to where this string starts. Try to keep it as true as possible. Pull it. Right. I don't know how easy that is to see. Do another one. Straight as possible. And we are doing this pull, this string pull at the very right time. Let it wait longer. I've waited too long before, and these strings will not budge. You end up pulling them. Straight enough. Alright, we got them cut long ways now. So, now we need to pull all the strings that we want this one to cut way on. Good morning, everybody. Well, look what I did. Made some bricks. It's the next day, 
and I'm about to take them out and I'll do a time lapse for you so you can see what that looks like. But let me show you a little closer about the cuts that I made with the strings last night. All right, so as you can see, uh-oh, I forgot a string. Look at that. Well, these are gonna be really fat. I might be able to cut them down by hand. Uh, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. But here's all the, uh, here's all the string marks that I made. So what I'm gonna do is open up these sides all the way around and uh, then start pulling them out one by one. I cleared off all of the old bricks. I kept what I needed or what I could keep. And then I went ahead and uh, trashed the rest. Um, so anyways, here we go. All right, well, the bricks are here. Think about that, man. We uh, wanted them to happen. Poof, here they are. We use the elements of earth, water, air, fire, and ether to create these blocks. Now they're going in to create something even bigger. So there you go, guys. Welcome to earth. These little blocks. I love you. <laughs>